Hey, if you want to get a piece of property bought during this really competitive time, you're going to have to do it the right way. I just sold a 40 acre tract to a couple. It was the first time to ever buy land. They got the property bought. Let me tell you how they did it. These people called me after looking at our listing online, looking at the maps, looking at all the information. They said, hey, whatever it takes, we'll meet. I met with them. What they didn't know is that I already had an appointment that morning to show the property to someone else. So I was already going to be there showing the property to someone else. I'd then go down the road and meet them at a crossroads and bring them back to the property so I could get it shown and make one trip, get it shown to two different groups. They were ready to go. They were serious. They said, we'll be there. So I got there early that morning, showed the property to the first guy. I said, okay, hey, I'm going back down the road. I got to meet another group. Don't know what's going to happen. I went down the road to the store, got those other people, brought them out to the property. It's kind of hard to get to property. Got them out there. We looked at it. I showed them everything I could show them. They look, walked every trail. They looked around as quickly as they could. We got back to the truck. They looked me in the eye and they said, Pat, we want this property. What do we have to do to get it? We've never bought land before. I kind of explained the process. It's really not complicated. They said, well, we're ready to make an offer. I said, hey, that, that's fine. I'll communicate it to the seller. I don't want to come across as a used car salesman, so I'm never anxious or pushy, but they were pushing me. They made the offer right at asking price. And they said, do you think she'll be okay with that? Can't answer for her, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna be pleased with the offer. It's right at the asking price. So she's not gonna be displeased. Let's see what she says. Out of the woods there and I sent her a text when I had good signal. She replied right back, said, hey, that's great. I'll take that. She didn't negotiate. She didn't counter. I mean, it was right at asking price. So I told them that and they were happy as they could be. They said, what's next? I told them, hey, I'll get a contract together. I'll uh, send it to you where you can sign it electronically. And then I'll send it to the seller. She can sign electronically. And when we have a contract, we got a deal and I'll send it to the title company and get it closed. They said, when can we expect the contract? I mean, they were anxious. They were ready. They didn't want to waste a minute. I said, as soon as I get back to the office, I can do it. It doesn't take long to put it together and email it to you for signatures. But before the sun went down, I had the deal signed up by all the parties and sent to the title company ready to get it closed. Now, what did these people do that's different and better, in my opinion, than other people when they're trying to buy land in a competitive market? First thing, they were serious. They did not waste any time in setting up a showing. They had looked at all the information. They liked what they saw so far. They just needed to see the property with their own eyes and walk around on it to make certain. So they weren't wasting my time or anybody's time. They knew what they were looking for. This seemed to fit. They had to check the final box by actually seeing it in person. They went as quickly as I could arrange it. They did everything I asked. They were serious about buying this property. The second thing they did right was they were decisive. When they got to the property and walked around and saw that it was what they wanted, it was where they wanted, it fit all their other criteria for distance away from their home, seclusion, timber, creek bottoms, campsite, had everything they wanted. They were decisive. They made an offer on the spot. They found what they were looking for. It was a fair asking price. They literally pulled the trigger when they knew they found what they were looking for. Hey, and the third and final thing that they did right is they were prepared. They made a cash offer. They had the money already uh, in, a, in savings for this property. They had been looking for property for quite a while. They had money accumulated, so it was a cash deal, which makes it easier for the seller to understand and accept. Also makes it a little quicker to close because you don't have to wait on lenders and appraisers and all of that. They were prepared to buy this property. Oh yeah, that's easy for them. They got the cash. Well, sold a property two days ago, same kind of scenario, a little 30 acre deal. Guy called, we looked at it, made an offer on the spot. He's ready to go. He's using the lender. He's prepared though. He had already talked to his lender. He knew he had the money lined up. So one was uh, had the cash in hand, the other knew he could get it because he had already uh, communicated and lined things up with a lender, the preparation made the deal. If you're looking to buy property in a competitive market, whether it's uh, 40 acres of recreational land like I just sold, or you're looking for a house in a neighborhood, you gotta be serious, you gotta be decisive, and you gotta be prepared to pull the trigger and get the deal done when the times are competitive like they are now. Hey, if you want some more information about being a buyer, being a land buyer, we got some other videos right here for you. Check them out.